everybody and welcome back I think he's done. Hello everybody and welcome back to Enchanted Tales with Danielle. I'm Danielle, for those of you who don't know. So today I'm going to be doing a video on full-time face character auditions through an e-submission. Now there aren't a lot of information about this type of audition really online that when that I could find ever. So I really wanted to make this video because since there's not a lot of information and people in, are probably doing these type of auditions but don't know anything about it. So I figured this would be a great way to help some of my fellow face character hopefuls out and give a little bit of more information about this particular audition. So the e-submission audition is very different from regular Disney auditions. Instead of going to a dance studio in New York City or Philadelphia or Chicago or wherever they're holding it, you get to do it in the comfort of your own home. How nice is that? I love that that's what it's like because those auditions going into a big room full of girls who are gorgeous can be so intimidating. And this type of audition is a lot less scary and is just a little bit more comfortable. The e-submission audition is done entirely online. So you would go to the Disney auditions page, the website, which I'll link down below in case some of you guys don't ever go on it, but it has all the information about every single Disney park and their auditions that they're holding from Paris, Tokyo, Hong Kong, regular Disney World, Disneyland, like they have everything on there. I did an e-submission audition about maybe a year ago? I think it was a year ago. Yeah, yeah, a year ago, a year ago. A year ago in April. So I think I sent mine in on the 12th of April. So it's just a little bit over a year. One day I was just searching the Disney auditions and seeing what there was coming up and I saw that there was one that was said face character e-submission nationwide search. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. I don't have to take off from class. I don't have to take off from work. It'd be so good. So what you do, there are two parts to an e-submission audition. Part one is a basic kind of uh, really simple, just there's not a lot of effort put into it. All you have to do is take two pictures, one of the front and one of your side profile, smiling and your hair tied back. So I did that, I sent those, and along with those you have to send in a resume. So I sent in a resume of my like theater experience and my dance experience, and I do a lot of volunteer work that involves acting and portraying princesses, so I mentioned that in my resume. And then you also have to answer a few questions that they tell you to put in the email. So it's just things like your name, your email address, your phone number, what current state or city you live in, and the date that you could start employment, oh, and your height. Once you do all that and you send it in, you're gonna hear back immediately saying, oh, thank you for applying or auditioning, and you'll everybody will hear back soon. So, you wait a little bit. For me, I heard back exactly a week after I sent in all my stuff. So, when I heard back, I got an email that said, Congratulations, we would like to look into you further to be a face character. So immediately, like, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Because e-submissions, they are less intimidating, depending on how you look at it. Because now, I think they might be a little bit more intimidating, because you're up against, like, probably a thousand or so people, because it's nationwide. Part two of the audition process for an e-submission is filling out a Google Doc that they send you. So when you hear back on whether you're being considered still, they send you a Google, a Google Doc that has basically all the same questions that you sent in the first email, but with some other questions like your eye color, your hair color, your weight, your shoe size, and things like that. If you have tattoos, piercings, and that's pretty much it. So after that, once you send that Google Doc in, you have to also send in 
three pictures this time with your shirt up to here so that way they can see your stomach and your back. So we have to send in a front, the profile, and then one of our back. So I did those and they also send you a script. So part of the second part of the audition is taking a video of yourself acting. So for my script, I just got told to be acting like I was a princess on stage at Magic Kingdom and I was greeting three children. So I memorized the script. It's really simple. It's nothing long. It's like less than a page and it's basically like a monologue. So it's pretty easy if you have like any experience in theater. After you take a bajillion takes of the video like I did, you send that in. And as soon as you send that in, you're just waiting for a response. Now I will tell you that if you get that far to where you get to send a video in, you are being considered for a face character at Walt Disney World. How, how like cool is that? That's amazing. And you didn't even have to leave your home. So you're freaking out, you're probably sweating every single day when you look at your email hoping that something will be there that says congrats you're hired so about I think it was like four days after I sent my video in that I got an email saying congratulations you're being considered as a potential I don't want to say what character I got told I was gonna be possibly um, just because I feel like I, I don't know, I just feel weird about saying it. Uh, it you should, everybody should totally guess at the comments because I would be very interested to see if anybody gets guesses it correctly because it's not a typical character that you would be like, oh, she's that. Like, it's so different and I loved it and I was so happy that I got picked for it. So, once you get picked to be a possible potential blank character you're put into a hiring pool for that character and for everybody who doesn't know what a hiring pool is it's essentially a like a little pool of all the people who could be a certain character so like if you were picked to be Snow White you would be put into a hiring pool with other girls who are also potential Snow Whites who could be hired you only have six months of that hiring pool and within those six months you could get called or you could not hear back at all and it's it is really stressful but just knowing that you made it that far should really make you feel pretty good about any other audition that you go to for Disney it's really all about timing so let's say you got picked to be a villain if you got picked to be a villain you're really waiting to be called out for something like Mickey's not so very scary Halloween party because that would be like the time that they need a lot of villains. So it's really all about timing. Now, if the time comes and they do need, let's go with a villain again, a villain, they'll go through every, every person in that hiring pool and pull out the people that they want. So you could still not get picked, but at least you made it to the part of being considered for it at all. Like, that's amazing. Pat on the back to every anybody who gets that far. If you do not hear back within those six months, you just go back to auditioning. It's just like it never happened almost. They take you off of the file and you just have to keep on trying, which is fine because if you really want it, it won't be a big deal. You'll just still go to auditions because they are so much fun and you'll meet a lot of people and it's nothing against you or how you act or what you look like it's just timing and it could be where you live or it could be your age that's the problem so you never know what Disney's really looking for at that specific time for me I did not make it out of the hiring pool within my six months it's happened to people I know somebody who got pulled out of that hiring pool from the East submission audition and is now working in the park so it does happen it's just all about timing of course I was kind of bummed that when November rolled around that I didn't get called but at the same time it was so cool to just be considered for a face character and to be in a hiring pool for Disney and that somebody was looking at my pictures and said like oh she'd be a good blank 
that's just so amazing and it's such a confidence booster going into further auditions because I swear to God, ever since that audition, I have made it to the end of every single Disney audition I went to. And I'm not doing anything different. I feel like I just have a lot more confidence and I know what to expect. And I feel like I know what they might be looking for a little bit more. So I really do recommend doing these e-submission auditions because they're great for getting your face out there and getting them on their computers and they you really can't be overlooked where at the in-person auditions it's easy to be overshadowed or overlooked because there's a sea of people next to you that you're comparing yourself to and that you're being compared to whereas in this audition they're just looking at your face and that's it yes they're going to be looking at somebody else's face and like a minute later but they're not looking at your face and having all this background stuff going on behind you where they might be drawn to somebody else's attention so I really suggest doing this audition if you have the chance they don't do them all the time so when they do come around take the opportunity to do it you won't regret it because you're not gonna lose anything you won't lose class time you won't lose you won't lose work time so why not I really hope that this video helped you guys because when I was going through this audition process, I couldn't find any information at all on this stuff. I searched high and low, could not find anything, and it was really frustrating because I wanted some, I don't know, I guess somebody who did it before to help me and just tell me what to expect because I didn't know the time span of when people were hearing back by, I didn't know if everybody was hearing back and getting the same person it was just really it it was just really confusing and scary to not know anything so i hope that this video really helps some people out and gives them a little bit more insight on another different disney audition now for my dcp hopefuls i have a disney audition dcp video on my channel that i will leave at the end of this video a little link to so you can watch that because it's a lot different from this type of audition and I have also made it to the end of a few of those type of auditions so I have a pretty good detailed video on it so I hope that that also helps you out if you guys are planning on applying for the DCP and auditioning and again stay tuned for an awesome Disney trip video as I'll be going in May for a day chaperoning a group of children with illnesses and developmental disabilities and it's gonna be really great so check out that video when I have it up I'll be going in May so it'll be a really exciting experience that I want to share with you guys and of course as always have a magical rest of your day and I will see you all real soon